Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches here this week and last week of the regular season for our women's soccer team. And joining us is their head coach, Lori Kolopny. And Lori, a, a weekend that didn't start well, but then finished on a very big note on Sunday afternoon. A little bit of highs and lows off the weekend, wasn't there? Yeah, it really was. Uh, it was it was a tough tough game on Friday. Um, we just we just didn't have our our mojo, you know. We just just didn't have it. Um, but we we were pretty disappointed after that game, um, losing to Quincy. Uh, but but great rebound uh, against Lewis, uh, who was the top team in the conference, and a really good game back and forth. Uh, really, uh, just a really good soccer game, and 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 the team kind of pulled through at the end. You know, and Mariah gets you the game winner off of, you know, just a great play that got set up right from the get-go. And I was watching it on my computer screen. I'm like, that's got a really good shot. And just the way that whole thing flowed. It was really good to see Mariah get that goal. But just the way we came out and attacked in that first overtime. Yeah, um, and, and, you know, the, the great thing, Mariah's – playing more of a holding more of a defensive role this year but she just has such great instincts to get yeah. forward um and, and you could see it there that she just kind of she could she could feel that the ball was going to bounce out right to her so um so yeah a great great finish and overall just a great um a great game to you know when you're playing good teams it's the, the momentum is back and forth they're going to have chances we're going to have chances but uh, I thought from start to finish uh, that we were um, just sort of business like we just got out there we just got the job done and, and got it finished and to get the bounce back because obviously after Friday night you mentioned it just didn't it was just one of those nights that we haven't really had since the beginning part of the year to bounce back against Lewis who's ripped off five straight games going into that match and you know, the refocus, the, you know, four-hour trip, three-hour trip over. I mean, th- that says a lot with what these young ladies are capable of doing and to just refocus themselves. Yeah, um, it was. It was an emotional weekend. I, I think, uh, you know, you get to the end of the season and uh, we're, we're tired. you got tired bodies. Every game in this conference is, is a battle and, and a 90-minute battle. Every single game you can't take a minute off. And sometimes you just get to the end of the season and, and you just kind of have a lull. You just kind of have a bad game, and I think that's what it was. Uh, but it does give us a lot of confidence, I think, you know, going in uh, against a team like Lewis and getting the victory that we can play with anybody. Uh, we just, you know, we have to bring it. Uh, when we play our style, we can we can play with anybody. The field's determined. We'll talk about that here in a second. But we've got to take care of our business Wednesday afternoon against S and T. Record wise, probably not you know the best team in the league, but we know what S and T is all about. And they can they can score whenever they need to to make life miserable for the other team. This is uh, this is a tough game to end the season on because uh, you do you look at the standings and s and is is towards the bottom of the conference but uh, they have lost every game every game they've lost has been a one goal game um, and we've uh, had trouble with them in particular the last couple of years it, so um, we've got to stay focused uh, we know what's at stake and uh, and we've got to finish off the season strong the way the league is I was just talking to David about this I mean the eight teams we already know that's that's a given other than that, there are no givens where the seeding is. I mean, there's there's a lot on the line for a lot of teams tomorrow afternoon. How do you kind of work through with the with the ladies about okay, we can't worry about that. We got to take care of our own business. Yeah, well, you know, I think the way the standings are, that makes it easy because there's we can't tell anything by looking at the points and looking at the standings. So there's no reason to even look at it and, and try and decide, you know, figure out who we're going to play or where we're going to play. There's no telling. Um, so uh, I think for this game in particular, going into the playoffs, we want to be confident. We want to play our style, uh, and we and we want to you know we want to feel good after the game. So I think you know more than anything, this is a, a chance to end the season on a on a positive note going into the playoffs. Well, it all starts tomorrow, and then we go on Sunday. We don't know where. We'll find out tomorrow night, probably about 9 o'clock. But it'll be a very interesting day tomorrow, to say the least. It always is on the last day of the regular season, isn't it? You know, we're, we're happy to be playing on Sunday. Wherever it is, whatever time, whoever we're playing, it doesn't matter. We're happy to be playing. Awesome stuff. Thanks so much, Lori. Thanks. Lori Kolopny joins us tomorrow. Ladies play at 2.30. We'll have all the action for you on Saints Vision. The bracket should be released for the women's side of things. 
We're hoping around 8.30, 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Make sure you go to our website, MaryvilleSaints.com. We'll have all the info there. We'll know who we're playing, if we're at home, if we're on the road. We'll talk to Lori on Thursday to get her thoughts about how the tournament's going to set up and, you know, the great run that we're about to have with our ladies. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.